Hi guys! In the following video I am gonna install Unity and configure it to work with Visual Studio Code on my brand new MacBook Pro with Apple Silicon on the board. The guide is designed especially for Apple Silicon users, but it also works with Intel processors. If you are ready, we can start to configure new Unity environment. The first step is to install Homebrew. As you can see on Homebrew webpage, Homebrew is the missing package manager for macOS. It allows you to install uh, software directly from terminal. Of course, all of the steps that I will show you in the rest of the video, you can do without Homebrew. But I think it's much convenient to use Homebrew uh, because uh, it finds for you, for example, the newest version of a certain package or it finds the package in a specific architecture. It's very useful, especially if you have Apple Silicon processor, like in the newest MacBook Pro. To install Homebrew, just copy the command from the Homebrew web page and run it uh, in the terminal. You will be asked for the password. In my case, I have already installed Homebrew, so I won't show you the whole process, but you can trust me that it's completely automatic, so um, nothing special will happen. Here. What we are going to do now is to install Unity Hub. At the moment, there is only Intel 64 bits uh, version available to download. If you have Apple Silicon processor, you are probably looking for uh, an Apple Silicon version uh, of Unity Hub. Uh, but 64 bit version is not a problem uh, here because you will use Unity Hub only for. Uh, preparing and managing Unity environments, so the performance is not crucial here. So that's why you can run the Unity Hub on Rosetta. The next step is to install preferred version of Unity. It's very important to choose uh, the version with the right architecture. Because I have MacBook with Apple Silicon on the board, I'm gonna install the newest Unity designed for Apple Silicon processors. The next step is uh, to select uh, development tools and uh, platforms that you want to install Unity with. I prefer Visual Studio Code as uh, development ID, uh, so that's why I unselect the Visual Studio installation here. But if you prefer uh, Visual Studio instead of Visual Studio Code, you can leave it selected. As you could see, I also selected Android and iOS support because I'm gonna create games designed for those platforms. While Unity is installing, we can go to the next step. Now it's time to install Mono.net framework. What is very important is to install Mono before you install Visual Studio and C Sharp plugin, because there is an issue with Omni Sharp and C Sharp plugin, which I will explain it to you in the next part of the video. The current step is to install Visual Studio Code and C Sharp plugin. I'm gonna to use Brew for search and install Visual Studio Code. When the installation is complete, run Visual Studio Code and install C Sharp plugin. I think that uh, it's the best moment to tell you about an OmniSharp issue, which I explained to you in one of the further videos. What is important now is when you get uh, the OmniSharp loading issue exception, just follow those few steps. First, ensure that you installed Mono NDK as I already showed you. Second, open Visual Studio Code settings and change use global mono to always then click restart omni sharp some cases requires to restart visual studio code what is important here is to kill the application completely by holding command q on mac os 
The last thing to do is to set up uh, external script editor in Unity to Visual Studio Code. Okay, so now it's time to test the environment that we just created. That's all what I prepared for today. If you don't want to miss any further videos about Unity, you can subscribe to my channel. And as always, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.